Hey guys, Devon from the future here. We forgot to turn on our mic during this entire filming. Anyways, we've already shot an entire comprehensive video of installing the Rocket Trunion upgrades. If you guys want to check that out, go ahead and click right here. Otherwise, just keep watching and enjoy the video. Thanks, you have a great day. Okay, so today, this is what we're gonna be doing. Spring seats, followed by the valve seals, followed by the valve springs, followed by retainers and the locks, in that particular order. So. Without any further ado, let's get to work. Now we're ready to go ahead and start installing these uh, springs and retainers. Now this kit did not come with the spring seats, so we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna go ahead and install everything else that we have. That means the first thing we gotta do is install the valve seals. On these particular valve seals, they are intake and exhaust specific, so don't mix those up. And uh, Let's show you how to do it. Intakes. All right, just gonna slip an intake valve in there. So there is a valve in the head now. That's gonna keep everything aligned and nice and smooth. Take a little bit of oil and lube up the inside of your valve seal. And you slip it down over the valve in the place where it's gonna sit. Then you're gonna want a 12 mil deep well 12 point socket for this part. I like to put a little extension on it and it'll sit right over there just perfect. And then you tap it down, move your mic. <laughs> you hear that audible sound change? That's when you know you made it. So there's one down. building this janky ass budget engine. See, look at all that crap that just flew out of there. Yeah, we're just gonna need to blow this out and get it cleaned up again. It's been sitting for, what, pretty much a year? Yeah, it's about. I almost forgot the oil. A little bit of oil makes everything so much easier. I need paper towels. You have any? Uh, probably. Make it all look easy. We know we want to change out three of them, so we're definitely going to look for our three worst ones. Yeah. If you're worried you might have a bent valve, just put stick it on a drill like so and spin it over. Well, in case you were wondering, this valve's bent. <laughs> Spill our oil everywhere. We're definitely ported by some mad scientists. That's how you install eight valve seals super fast without breaking any springs. Nice. These heads haven't had valves in them in like two years. Not since the LS1 the bed. That's right, folks. These are the LS1, the old heads that came off the LS1. Getting repurposed. Bringing new life. Somebody asked about this tool and they're like, how'd that work? I can never get it to open up enough. I was like, it's a bit, a bit of a pain, but of course. Not enough. He, he like got to manually adjust the thing. It might be what it is. This would be a lot easier if this was facing the, the light. Yeah. 
I just put it down too far, I think. Can you go ahead and turn it a little bit more, though. Um, I have a bomb in my hands right now. I'm going to gonna take care of this one before I do anything else. A few inches later. Love that sound. So, wow, that's the first one in. Those are gonna look pretty sweet. When you're using a spring compressor like this, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to come at it from the exhaust side rather than trying to do it from the intake side. Stuff gets in the way and it just never really works. Like it hits here and it's, yeah. I've tried it. It's just frustrated me immensely. There you have it folks, a completed head. Fully installed valve springs, retainers, locks, valve, seals, seals. Space Ready dust. to go. Yeah, space dust. Can't, can't, forget, can't forget space dust. seconds later. Alright, so thank you guys so much for checking it out. That's about going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Sorry it's a little bit lower energy. It's late at night. We're both tired from work, but we wanted to get this done for you guys. So just a quick recap for today. What we did today was we installed new valve springs, new valve seals, and also the uh, retainers and the locks. So all the valve tank components minus the rockers have been installed today in the ported heads that you guys watched this port a couple months ago. Um, on that note, these are the new upgraded rockers with the upgraded trunnions we got from Summit Racing. If you are curious on how to properly uh, upgrade your rockers, we did do a full in-depth video. You can check that out. Remember, it's always important to go back and check your work. Me and Devon, we just noticed that we forgot to put a bearing in one of the rockers. Uh, so we're going to go back and take care of that real quick. But in the meantime, if you found this useful, why don't you hit the like button, go down, leave us a comment, tell us what you thought, and uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. That's right. There's going to be more awesome videos coming from us soon. Bring the 500 budget build together. Uh, it's been a really long time coming. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us for this entire uh, build. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more awesome things coming. And uh, just to touch on something in case you're wondering, yeah, we've been riding the struggle bus. We've been riding it real good. But... It's gonna drop us off at the launch pad, and that rocket ship's gonna be sweet. You just wait and see. Ah.